Kia ora and welcome to another online tutorial. Today we are talking about restoring force in pendulums. Now I've drawn a diagram on the side here to try help explain some of the ideas. Uh, pretty similar to our previous tutorial, although I've annotated a bunch of extra stuff on here. Specifically, tension, our force due to gravity, our force parallel to tension, and our force tangent or net net force acting on our pendulum while in motion okay with our pendulum at this point or our reference frame moving towards our equilibrium but this net force or tangential force could be moving away from equilibrium if it was in that part of its oscillation things to consider our weight force f equals mg is constant our mass is constant and acceleration due to gravity is constant and it is always going to be acting downward. Our tension acts along the string, okay, to the point of securement at which our pendulum oscillates about. Our tension will vary in magnitude depending on the pendulum's displacement. Our net force, or F tangent, acts in the direction of motion and is the sum of the forces acting on our pendulum bob. We're going to look at why acceleration of a simple pendulum varies with displacement and why when our pendulum bob is at the equilibrium, specifically there at rest, why the forces or net forces acting on the pendulum are zero. Let's get into it. So, why is acceleration of a simple pendulum variable with displacement? Well, the larger the angle of displacement, a greater amount of our component of weight is present in our force tangent. If we were, and this is not going to be to scale, at 90 degrees, our tangential force would be Fg. Seeing as our force tangent is a proportion of this, when our displacement is greater, or our angle of displacement is greater, we have a greater force acting on it. Therefore, a greater force means we will have a greater acceleration occurring on our pendulum. Our force tangent can be calculated as mg sine theta, so as we increase theta, we get a larger force tangent. Until our force tangent is equal to our force of weight. So, why when our simple pendulum bob is at rest at equilibrium, does our F net equal zero? Okay. Because our F tangent provides our restoring force and our tangential force is a component of our weight force, when we are at equilibrium and Fg is acting downward with tension opposing that, the forces are balanced we have no displacement, therefore our theta is zero and there is no restoring force then acting on our pendulum. Okay? So in our example here, if we were to expand that as it currently is, we have our force due to gravity. We have our force parallel which is mg cosine theta, okay? We also have our tangential force, which we can put into our vector diagram. Sorry, it's a little bit crowded in here. Which will be mg sine theta When theta decreases, okay, as theta decreases and our parallel force becomes the same as force due to gravity, our tangential force, which is acting as our restoring force, will become zero, with our weight force being balanced by tension. Hopefully that helps, team. Hopefully that lets you get out there and get into some physics. Hopefully you have a good day. Good luck.